Hey guys, it's Roland here from Think Brainwave, and I'm your tutor. In this video, we will be discussing Tropper von Vergelijken. This, in English, is called the degrees of comparison. We know it as big, bigger, and biggest. So let's get started straight away. We're looking at short vowels, dick, dun, and fit. Dick becomes dicker, and then dickster. Dun, dinner, dinster. Fit, fetter, fetster. Let's do twin vowels. Squin, laat, geel. Squinner, squinster. Laat, later, laatste, geel, geeler, geelste. Drop the O, or drop the double vowel, and add ER. For your second, for your third, you just add STE. Right, in this one we're going to be doing double vowels or consonants. We have foil, quill, hard. We just add ER, and then we add STE. Foil, failer, failster, quill, cooler, Ulster, hard, harder, hardster. In this one, we've got ending in R. Fair, dear, lacquer. We just add D E R, then S T E. Fair, farder, farsta, dear, dearder, dearsta, lacquer, lacquerter, lacquerster. Now let's do ending in lick. Mundlick, mocklick. Moeilijk, lieflijk, oelijk. So let's do makkelijk. Just add er, lieflijk, er, oelijk, er. Then ste at the end. So makkelijk, makkelijker, makkelijkste, lieflijk, lieflijker, lieflijkste, oelijk, oelijker, oelijkste. Let's do ending in ig now. Vinnig, bezig, stadig. Vinniger, we add the er. Vinnigste, we add the ste. Bezig, bezigste. At the end, besiger in the middle, stadig, stadiger, stadigste. Just add the er and then the ste. Now a short vowel plus a g. We say sag, lig, slag. Sag, put the ter, then ste. Lig, sag, sachter, sagste. Lig, lichter, lichste. Slag, slechter, slechste. So far, so good. Let's keep moving. We've got the long vowel plus G now. Hoog, laag, leeg, droog, moeg, vroeg. Alright, this is similar to the rule for meervoda. If you have OG at the end, you change the OG to an E with a deal token and an R, so it becomes hoog, hoer, laag, laer. In that case, there is no apostrophe or a deal token because there's no O. And as you can see, you add an E with a, with a deal token if there's an E, G at the end of the word. Let's do the long vowel plus D. You've got coat, breed, quad. Coer, we just change the D to an ER and add STE for the third. Breed, prier, you can't have three. E's in a row, so you just change that to an E with a DL token to get prier. Let's do um, ending in the letter S. Los, boss, boes, flux, losser, loster, double that S you see. So you just add an STE, boes, boeser, drop the one O, and then flux, flexer. Now we're going to be doing ending in a long vowel. Blow, so an OU, moi, OI, quai, I, I. Just add the ER, just add the STE. Send for moi, so it's moier, moister, quai, quier, and quaister. Simple rules, you just gotta get them in the head. Now let's do short vowel plus F. Grof, laf, muff. So grover, you double your, you get rid of the F and you make two W's and an ER. That makes grofsta. Laf becomes lover. Drop the F and double EW. ER. Now let's do the long vowel or a consonant plus the letter F. 
we've got leaf, doof, stijf, scurf. So we've got leaf, liver, leafster. You change the F to a W E R. Doof, same story. You drop one O, you drop the F, and you have W E R. Stijf, just drop the F, W E R. And scurf, drop the F, W E R. STE pretty much goes to the end for everyone on the third. Now, we'll get to what the third actually is in, at the end of the video, but for now, let's do ending in U. So you've got slew, ru, so slew, just add W-E-R, ru, just add W-E-R, and then double E makes it. So if you start with slew, you, you actually add an extra U and S-T-E for the third. Let's do tefrira, opgewonde, beskaya, verlie. So you'd say, meer tefrida, meer opgewonde, beskaya, verlie. This is multiple syllables. So you have meer tefrida, meer opgewonde, meer beskaya, and meer verlie. Let's do some exceptions. Looks like we're near the end of the rules, and we'll start doing how you guys will be tested. So let's do baie, bikki, dikwels, goed, Jonk, lang, niet, selde. So now baie becomes meer, and then die meeste. Bikkie, minder, die minste. Dikwels becomes, what do you think? Meer, male, die meeste. So these are a little bit more challenging. Teachers are definitely going to test this, so be aware. Goed, beter, beest, beste. Jong, jonger, jongste, lang, langer, langste. Niet, nieuwer, nietste. Zelde, minder, minste. Okay, very well done. Make sure to learn those properly off a heart, because those are very, very common throughout Afrikaans language. If I'm going too quickly, please pause the video or restart the video. Otherwise, you can check them out at thinkbrainwave.com where you can get an access to videos, notes, and tests. Over here, we're going to see how you are being tested for the Tropo van Vergelijking. Right, so this is a little, little bit more in-depth. The positive form of the adjective is usually given. Right, so you then need to give the comparative version or the superlative, so comparative versus superlative. If you're not sure what these words mean, don't worry, stick around, I will be explaining. So now it's a bene, try to think what it would be like in English, because it's much the same in Afrikaans. Obviously not the words, but very much the same. Right, should we explain? Let's do, if you compare two different objects, you use the comparative because you're comparing. Easy so far. So you've got the comparative form for two different objects. The middle, which you'll see now, I'll use the example groot, groter, grootste. Notice how I drop the O and added ER. The middle is the comparative because you're comparing two different objects. However, now if you compare more than two different objects, what do you think you use? Well, you use the superlative. The superlative is on the third right-hand side. Let's do claim, claner, and claimster. If you have three children, which one is the smallest? That's comparing three. It's the same as doing the superlative, the claimster. But if you say between these two children, which one is smaller? You'd be using the comparative. Now. If you give, if they give you an us, meaning than, give the comparative form. So, groot us, or the sien is groot, then I'll ask you in, in paragraph structure, the sien is something, 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 us, say sister. Do you think it's going to be groter? For sure. So, you wouldn't necessarily be given this the sien is groot part. So you'd have to figure this one out for yourself. So you'd say, die sien is groter as sy sister. However, now if they give you who and who, 
you might think of an owl, but you'd not be correct. You have to do the comparative. If they give you D, then you use superlative because it's the greatest, the biggest, die grootste, die kleinste. You can't say die grootste. Easy game.